What now? Not Nelly already shamelessly cheating on Ashanti when she's heavily pregnant. Child, one thing these men gonna do is embarrass the hell out of you after they've already trapped you with a baby, and Ashanti just got a taste of it too. This comes after Nelly was arrested by the cops for being high on and having multiple male performance pills on him, which people suspect he took a few hours prior to cheating on Ashanti. A lot of people drag Nelly for filth for this because he's really out here wildin' while Ashanti's sitting at home being a good wife, getting ready to pop out they baby. What makes this even messier is that there was some rumors going around that he and his ex-girlfriend Chantel have been secretly messing with each other for a hot minute now, and she's a part of the long list of women he'd been cheating on Ashanti with. See, one thing about Nelly, he loves to spin the block, so this ain't surprising. I mean, he did spin the block on Ashanti and put a baby in her, and now she gotta deal with that man forever. Now, just a little context before we get into all the very messy details of this story, Nelly and Ashanti actually first started dating back in 2003 when they met at the Grammy Award conference. Shortly after that, they started hanging out and were seen everywhere together. However, they both insisted they was just friends, even though everybody knew they was dating. In a 2008 interview, Ashanti said, Me and Nelly were good friends. We kick it and hang out a lot. The industry is very hard, so it's good to have fun and lighten up. However, she later confirmed the relationship when rumors started going around that she and Nelly were getting engaged. She denied the engagement rumors, but still made it very clear that it's something they would do in the future. Oh no, no, no engagement, but definitely in the future. Unfortunately, that engagement never happened because fast forward to 2013, they broke up after being together for 10 years. Shortly after that breakup, Nelly moved on pretty quickly and got to date in Chantel in 2014. They were together for seven years, and at some point, Nelly even revealed his interest in making Chantel his wife. He said they needed to run a background check before giving him the money. Nelly reportedly thought it was a joke because he had previously won larger amounts at the same casino without getting a background check. During this background check, an active warrant for a prior traffic stop came up, prompting the arresting officer to search his belongings, where they say they allegedly found a this immediately sent the internet off, and a whole lot of people got to clowning Ashanti for allowing Nelly to spin the block and freak on her with a baby when he's out here being a head. Not only that, but people also questioned why he was out here doing ex in the first place, and accused him of cheating on Ashanti with Chantel. One person said, make it your baby dad, and he embarrassed you immediately after. Another person said, now Nelly, who are you gonna use those pills with? I see problems in his relationship starting. This man has had and pills found on his tour bus through the years. And a couple years ago, he was so high when he performed, people thought he was possessed. And y'all surprised? Am I the only one that remembers all this? Another person said, Chantel is somewhere loving this. Now it's unclear why exactly people are automatically assuming he's cheating just because he had ex on him or why they think he's cheating on Ashanti with Chantel, but one thing that's for certain is that there seems to be some trouble boiling up, and this marriage is already off to a rocky start. Nelly has been a raging addict for years now and has an essay case attached to his name. There is all sorts of red flags that Ashanti should have considered before letting that man lay pipe in her, but now she's carrying his baby and she's just gonna have to deal with whatever comes with him for the rest of her life. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Nelly getting caught with substances? And do y'all think the rumors about him cheating are true or are people just reaching? Chantel, so he cheated on her. And at the time, he'd been talking to everyone about how he was going to put a ring on Chantel's finger. So y'all can understand why she probably made that video. I'm going to say it again though. I still think that video was out of pocket. But this whole situation has gotten Ashanti fans backpedaling. Because everyone wants to believe that life is behind him. But then, do men really change? Especially when the man got as much clout as Nelly had and had. Y'all know they got married in 2023 and everyone knows he got a lot of kids from a lot of women. But Nelly's lips have been sealed shut. He's been wise enough to not acknowledge or deny any of the allegations. So the situation's like no one knows what's a lie and what's fake. But we sure as heck know what's real. We know the man's got a reputation of being a wild card. Y'all remember when he mistakenly uploaded a woman choking on his third leg to his IG story? And all of us old enough to remember that he and Ashanti was on and off again from 2003 to 2013. So how do we know the man's clean this time how do we know he ain't gonna do ashanti dirty like he's done every woman in his life and i ain't talking about his cheating i'm talking about everything else the whole package 
the run-ins with the law, the associations, yeah, you heard that right. In 2018, Nelly settled a case out of court with a college student named Monique Green. This Monique lady accused Nelly of assisting her on his tour bus, and when she spoke up and sued, Nelly countersued the chick for defamation. Now, this is where the whole situation runs wild, y'all. Turns out the judge dismissed his countersuit, and ultimately, Nelly settled out of court with the chick. They still insist that they didn't give her money and that Nelly was innocent, but the whole incident just left a bad taste in the mouth of fans and a big stain on Nelly's name. The reason why so many people were pressed to believe that he might have done that was because he was already on a crazy run up to that point. He might not be all that problematic like 2014 Justin Bieber, but many of us can admit the man's a wild card. And now that wild card is married to Ashanti. I think Ashanti's been through enough to go hitch her ride with a man who won't keep all 10 toes down and treat her with the respect and loyalty she deserves. But what do y'all think? Has Nelly really changed, turned a new leaf, or has he just gotten way better at hiding the dark side? And do y'all think Ashanti should move on from the man and find someone with a better reputation, or are we just overreacting? Yep. Targeted? Nelly's legal team claims police targeted the rapper after he was arrested at a casino in Missouri. Nelly was arrested on Wednesday morning at a local casino in St. Louis. The 49-year-old rapper was detained for possession of four ecstasy pills and not having car insurance. His lawyer stated that Nelly won big at the Hollywood Casino in St. Charles, and the arresting officer told Nelly that when players win over a certain amount, a background check must be conducted. Nelly knew this wasn't true because he had won similar or larger amounts several times before, including one win a week prior, without any incidents or background checks. He claims that the officer forced Nelly to be handcuffed behind his back and walked him through the casino in front of other customers, then conducted a search without proper cause and claimed to have found the so-called ecstasy pills in Nelly's personal belongings. He added, I am 100% confident that this case will not go anywhere. We will be requesting an investigation into the officer's conduct.